Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo on the Technocrat Empire Hunt. I'm doing it on 1280 difficulty. It's a flawless run. Uh, pretty easy, pretty straightforward run. I'm doing it on the Warlock, I'm doing it on Stasis. I'm using Stasis, so I'm showing on the video what I'll be using. I'm running predominantly a Warmind build, which I'm, I'm more inclined to run that than the than the charge with light build. So I'm using Xenophage in my heavy, Yan 7 pulse rifle for the barriers, and Night Watch for the overloads. I'm the mods that I'm running is Wrath of Rasputin, uh, which is what allows the Xenophage to make Warmind cells. Solar splash damage kills create Warmind cells. As you can see, Warmind's protection, which take less damage from ads around the Warmind cells. So that's really, really good for, for tanking some damage there. Rage of the Warmind, so massive explosions. Uh, obviously, you need uh, Global Reach. Uh, and I've got Burning Cells on, but you could you probably could put a Fireteam Medic on, which gives you a wave of health when you break it down, break, break a Warmind cell. I'm also running Spoils of Conquest. And Sargita, spoils, con spoils of War, sorry. So every time I finish a champion, I'll get heavy ammo. And Sargita, I get my grenade back every time I, I, I disrupt a champion. So that's kind of the build I'm going to be running here. Uh, I've got Scout Rifle Ammo Finder on because you do have one of the modifiers as Famine. So reduced ammo drops for the weapon you use. I've got Machine Gun Ammo Finder. And scavenger, I haven't got reserves on because instead of having reserves on the chest plate, I went with arc damage resist and sniper damage resist. So that's the setup, guys. As soon as you come into this, you're going to be faced with a barrier champion straight away. So what I do is put a get a a, a stasis grenade right on top. It's it's the, the stasis grenade that I'm using, as you can see on the video. It's the one that it's the it's the one that encases them. Dusk field grenade. So, it stops the barrier champions from regenerating their shield. And as you can see there, when I killed the barrier champion, I created a warming cell. Exploding that warming cell, kill everything else because of the wrath of Rasputin, the, you know, the, the rage of, you know, uh, uh, explosive damage that you get, additional explosive damage that you get from uh, the rage of the warming. So... Once you've done that, you're going to come through to this section, you run all the way through here, and now you're going to be faced with a brig. Now, beforehand, the last run I'd done on this, I used the Xeno, the, the Anarchy, and just kind of stayed back and tanked him with, with uh, Anarchy. Well, I took a little bit of stick for using the Anarchy. I don't know why, if you're a solo player, then obviously you want to have been doing all everything to make solo activities as straightforward as possible. But it seems like a lot of people, because they play on their own rather than being a solo player, it just means they don't have people to do that stuff with. So that's why I'm redoing this with more achievable, a, 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 be a more achievable weapon loadout. So we're going to use all of our Xenophage on this brick. Now, I'm not bothered about using it because spoils of war i'm going to get more back from these two the two overloads that are in this room as you can see all i'm trying to do there i'm not attacking the brig until he's airborne because i can head glitch him when he goes up in the air i'm just literally uh trying to kill get as many of the the little shanks down as i can so that i can i can safely go out and finish the overloads when the brig goes down when, when he's when he's not airborne he's not really an issue to us it's when he's airborne so every time he went down i was just trying to have a look around and see if i could get some shanks now you can see there i've put that dusk man grenade on literally just to keep the, the 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 champion in his place i'm not trying to really get him low while he's frozen the problem with spoils of war is if you finish a, a champion while he's frozen sometimes it classes it as a stasis, stasis kill as opposed to you finishing them, so you won't get heavy. So I waited for the grenade to go, and then now we're doing more damage. Now the idea behind, I've said it before in videos, but the idea behind taking down these barriers, these overloads effectively, once you once you disrupt an overload champion, see there, I finished him, the other guy's pushed over to me, and I kind of played a little bit of hide, hide and seek behind that desk with him, so now he's in the same place as the first one, making him much easier to attack when there's shanks about. 
Now, as you can see, the elite sniper come over as well. Uh, the idea of taking down these overloads is you want to keep a steady stream of damage on to stop them from teleporting and regenerating. Now, it seems like once they regenerate, once they start teleporting, man, they regenerate so quickly. As you can see, the, 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 the fast regeneration seems to be, you know, strongly linked to the teleportation. Now, you can see the yellow numbers coming off because the more you crit, the safer you're going to be. Now, I'm not saying every shot needs to be a crit, but the more the merrier because you obviously do more damage to to the champion if you're critting. You see, I've got unfinishable. I get two bricks here, which puts us right back up. And I've got a brick here. So if you know, after watching this, if you are watching the guide and you are following this run, you'll learn the spawns, spawn locations. You can kind of... You can kind of be a little bit more uh, freer with your, your ammo consumption if you know that you've got finishable champions coming up, if you've got spoilers of war. So that's this room done. We're going to move forward into this overkill room. This ridiculous amount of mines that are in here. Try and get a bit of chain reaction going by shooting one and letting it explode quite a few others. You're always left with a couple on the left. And then we'll move through to the next area. Try when you're breaking these, try not to be too close to the door because sometimes you can take a little bit of damage from there. Now you will get ads coming through here. You could throw, you could have thrown a grenade. I could have thrown it earlier, but that first guy uh, just ran straight through it. But fortunately, I caught the rest of them, and the explosions killed most of the shanks. The champion will always tether some of them. So what to do? Or you can see what I'm doing here is I. I kind of move to the right so that the shanks have got to come over and it untethers them. It just gets them into a place where the, the champion can't tether them. Now what we're going to do is a couple of shots and then switch to a pulse rifle to take this champion down. Break his shield and then go towards him. I normally get a couple of shots off and then hit fire a couple just so I can watch for when I can finish him and get more heavy. It really is... It synergizes the, the you know, the synergy of, of, of generating heavy ammo after heavy ammo use is perfect. Spoils of War for stuff like this is, is, is just top tier. So I'm going to stand here, I'm going to take these these shanks out. There are a couple of vandals. Uh, I just, I can see I've got heavy ammo there. I'm not too bored about, you know, using, I'm not too... Uh, Worry about using the Xenophage to take them down. It just saves me going toe-to-toe -to -toe with them with the primary. Now we've got uh, an overload down here. It probably is going to be a couple of Tracer Shanks as well. I'm going to try and leave that heavy ammo. Uh, because I'm, I'm I'm not planning on finishing this champion. Now, the Spoils of War is amazing. It's, it's a really good addition. But you have to know when it's safe and where it's safe to actually think about finishing a champion and I felt like that was too far away. The distance I had to cover once the, once the champion was finishable, probably, you know, just a little bit too far away, champion would have became active again and if the champion becomes active again and starts mowing you down with that shotgun, it's over. Now this area you're going to get... A lot of exploding shanks, uh, some tracer shanks. You're going to get two different types of exploder shanks. You're going to get red and orange bar. So if you move up, you'll see them spawn in, just back back away, back down to the door. And they will come to the front of the door, even slightly just inside the door, but they'll never come into the room fully. So this is a very safe area for you to do your work from. There'll always be a couple that will kind of hang back. It's actually quite lucky here because one of them normally wedges himself at the back left but they all came out so as you see there they'll come up to the door but they'll never really come and chase you into the room take out these mines and now you're going to get an overload so as you can see there there's a mine there there's a mine on the left just there and then we get overload now what i tried to do here is to give myself i wasn't really bothered about finishing the, this this champion I just didn't want to take a lot of damage from any of the ads that were going to come in with them. So I've put the grenade down and that suppressed some of the other ads. We, uh, but as I say, we've got the, we're have got we using the exotic helmet 
uh, the stack. And then the reason why I might not have explained at the start of the video why I'm using the stack, or why you should use it for this more more importantly. Every time you go red bar, you'll get you'll get a, you'll just fully regenerate your rift. So you don't have to worry about having super high recovery or you know saving your rift usage. It's just something that I, th I thought would be really good for people if they wanted to use it. I didn't need it in this, but it's, it's, why not, you know? So, as soon as the other shank never came up, I decided I was going to take this champion down my super. So, you see here, <clears throat> hitting this champion, we took the other adds as well. And I've just waited for him to go finishable, and I finished him, and got heavy. So... Perfect. We're back up to full complement, 28 heavy rounds. And now we push forward to the next area. Now, there's a lot of kind of dead ground here. <clears throat> As I say, this is a really straightforward run. It's, it's a really straightforward empire hunt if you want to get your solo flawless. Because the boss fight can be done so methodically. I actually mess about with the boss fight a little bit because of, heavy, because of ammo. But you'll see, you'll see exactly what I'm doing. A uh, couple of ads behind these. There's a, the, I wasn't. To, I, I was him. I was looking for. It was the orange bar I was looking for. But there is a champion that can be finished here, so wasn't really too worried about the ammo consumption. And we dropped heavy ammo. So I just make. Always make sure when you're going into an area like this next area. Always make sure you reload. There's nothing worse than getting in the middle of a gunfight and thinking you can kill the enemy before he kills you, and you actually only had three rounds. So you're gonna. You, uh, You've got all these shanks, you've also got two elite snipers, and you've got an overload in this area, so... The overload came to the left this time, he doesn't normally. So I'm just going to stand here, but you'll see I do get hit, and I do pop a rift just to stay safe. And one of the one of the fragments I've got, or it might be one of the aspects, if I put my rift down, I freeze any enemies that are close to me. It is, is actually really good, it's, it's, it's not super helpful here. You see here, I'll put the rift down, and that... that champion for whatever reason was just regenerating like nobody's business so i'm just gonna keep them pinned in there crits will, crits will stop them i found that hitting them more with a an overload weapon than a heavy the minute you hit them with a heavy it seems to trigger some sort of it's like it's like he, an, a level of arrogance comes out in the champion he's just like nope you can do that again because i'm rege i'm gonna regenerate here Couple of xenophase shots just just the means that the 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 snipers are one hit shot with the scout rifle after that, and then move forward to the next section. Very very simple. So you've got two barrier champions here. This is for a lot of people. This this part is where it gets tricky. I've put down the dust main, dust field grenade, and that kind of allows me to focus fire one champion. Now I think. This might be the champion that I couldn't finish. I actually went to, I think, the second champion. I went to get him low and then finish him, and it didn't work. You can see I've got... I've got a... War main cell there. Just break this champion shield. Now I'm pushing down towards him. I've got a little bit of a, a weird thing happen here. Because he, I, he should not... That shouldn't have killed him, but it did. So I knew there was another champion further up... As you can see, I haven't, I've got not a lot of heavy here, I've got nine, but it's, it's no big deal. And I think I drop a brick from one of these enemies. There we go. You'll always get heavy. With, with, with the mod setup that I've got, you'll always get heavy. And you'll never be, you'll never be, if you burn your heavy, I, I used to say this all the time in D, D2 year one, you know, watch out for your heavy, watch your ammo. If you, if you just, shoot your heavy off for no reason against ads you don't need to then you're going to run out of heavy so back away once you've gone to that room once you once you get that checkpoint back away and you're waiting for this little kind of this little floaty floaty boy up in the sky there him this little generator for the shield it'll break his shield that'll make him go and then you're going to get some invisibles and an overload so i'm going to just go forward into the room as soon as as soon as I see him coming, you see I've put a Xenophage just... I want to stop this overload in that hallway so I can just focus fire the other enemies. You 
you see there, there is still one left. I didn't realize it at the time. I caught him at the corner of my eye on the left hand side. There you just see, I just seen him there. Uh, and just finish him. And then we can go back to the Overlord Champion. So he doesn't, we don't want him. After doing that work, you don't want him to regenerate. But I do want him finishable. You see there, he's finishable. I thought I might have been too far away, but I needed to take the chance. As soon as I got close enough, slid and straight into a finisher. And it wasn't until I got here that I remembered that there's there's a really isolated barrier champion here that I knew I was going to get heavy from. So just head glitch these ads here. They'll all push up out of the, the barrier champion's tether. There's more heavy ammo there. I can actually burn a heap of heavy against this champion now. Just get him, get his barrier up and there we go. Get him finishable. And then we'll go back, probably if we need it, we'll go back and get that other brick of heavy. Well, I've got 22. I can hold 28. Let's hope this puts us to max, which it did. So that, you've got one more kind of overload and then it's then it's kind of clay pigeon shooting until the end. So there's an overload in the center of this room up top. What I'm trying to do is just work, work out the ads, work, work the ads down that are around them. Before I go for him. There's normally some marauders and stuff. So as you can see I've stopped him. But this part I had a problem with the last time. Because this boss. Even when you stop him. Because you're so far away. Once you stop him. There's still another 7 or 8 shots to hit you. So put down the rift. And keep critting him. We don't. Once you get him so low. That you really don't. Don't give him the chance to regenerate. That, that's just. It's. It's. it's it's annoying when you get them this low and then they fully regenerate. But as you can see, we never had that issue. So, just do a, I'm doing a little bush jump, trying to entice these ads to come out of the little hidey holes. You know, it seems like the ads in Destiny are, are, are like uh, noise sensitive. As you can see there, a couple of bush jumps and it just brought them out. There's another, there's a tracer shank up top top left and that should be it i'm just looking for ammunition oh no there's another oh, two of these guys two of these sneaky little guys at the back so i'll just make sure i've got i don't know why i ran off that heavy because i didn't need it but now i'm stocked up on primary i'm stocked up you probably know you probably noticed you do not use your pulse rifle in this and very very rarely you're going to use it you only use it for breaking barrier champions which is which is fine because it just so happens that the primary we're using is probably the best all-round weapon in Destiny 2 at the moment. Those explosive rounds on a scout rifle, I actually stopped running a sniper in Crucible for a while. Because snipers, you know, now that they've changed the way that sniping works in Crucible, you normally find that people that enjoyed a little a little run with the sniper that weren't really good with the sniper, they want natural snipers. They've, they've put the snipers down because you can be outmatched with a scout rifle now. And this is very, very, very good in Crucible. It's very good everywhere. So, uh, side note, just I digress for two seconds. Uh, it won't be my main weapon next season, I don't think. Not when the palindrome comes back. That was my baby in D D1. I used it for everything. Raids, Nightfalls, the lot. And I'm looking forward to getting that back. So anyway, I digress too far. Uh... We'll take out these three elites. Watch out for the spider mines. You see me trying. If you can, if you can shoot them on the ground before you land, it just they won't they won't pop up at all. This one I decided to just jump straight past. Now we're in the boss room. Now the way I'd done the boss last time was grenade super double anarchy up to the doorway. This time straight up to the doorway. Just go straight up to the left here. Now for anybody that didn't see the run the last time. S same idea, we're just going to put some shots on. You see the boss charging his, his stasis. Depending on where he is, being on the left-hand side, the right-hand side of this doorway, you will not get hit by it. Depending on where he is when he fires it. But, as you can see, all the ads are going to come to you anyway. You put a rift down. All the ads are going to come to you anyway, so you can... You know, you can use, unfortunately, I never got a chance to shoot my warming cell, but you can use uh, 
some of your xenophage just to clear ads if you need. That's the great thing about the xenophage is that area of effect. You can see they're taking more damage now because they're lit up because I've got power, the power of Rasputin as well. So just try to clear these quickly. And I, I actually fired because I seen I had heavy ammo there. So I'm just going to reload. Now I'm going to keep a hold of my super because the super can come in handy if I need it for ad clearance or anything else. So what we're going to do, the boss is just below us. So you can actually aim at him, but you can see I'm just testing it out. This was the first time I'd done this with the Xenophage. And this was the very first run. There was no ulterior runs, testers. This was the very first time I'd used this setup. And I was just, you know, I do a lot of hip firing with the Xenophage anyway. So you want to get his first health bar down, and then these little floaty boys are going to come up. Now, you're, al for the f you're always going to have... That, this one we're going to now is going to be almost in every wave. So when you come over here, see I've used one shot from the Xenophage. I waited because that boss will teleport after you. So if you just wait, you can use the pillar on the platform we just jumped to as cover from him and just go around the side when he teleports. So we're not going to get any more ads until we've took the next health, the, the next kind of health bar off of him. So... As you can see, trying to get him in the grenade just to keep him frozen. Doing good damage. Just having a look to see, make sure nothing else is coming. And my suggestion, you'll see me doing it here. I'm trying to now use my primary because I've only got six shots left. I'm not wanting to completely run dry as you know, of uh, uh, heavy. And you'll see here, I'm hip firing in it. And then I realize I actually could probably aim at him. What I would suggest is when you see him firing, don't don't look over the edge of the the edge of this uh, platform exactly where he's firing at because that is how you're going to take damage. So you can see the scout rifle is actually doing a little bit to him. So now I decide to aim, and that that was enough. So now you're going to get three of these. So you're going to get this one. You're going to get one over there. And you can, you can kind of see which ones you're getting because they pulse. So now I'm going to go over and get this one. I'm going to go over. I've got ammo. And then from this platform, I'm going to take him down. I only came over here. As I said before, I played around a little bit with this run. Simply to see, you know, if there was any way I could stretch this out. Did I need to be here? Was this the easiest place? It was the easiest place. But, uh... Now I'm going to get stuck. You'll see here, I, I actually held to break. But you'll see later on, I don't hold to break. If, if you're in cover and you're not getting hit, don't bother. If you get hit by the stasis, don't worry about it. I'm just trying to see if I can generate some heavy. And there's a brick of heavy there. That will stay in my head in case I need it for later on. Which is right now. So what I've done is, there's the before the big wave of ads comes... I'm just doing a run. You see there I've turned because he's now following. But he stayed in the centre. Now all the ads are coming now. So I am going to take a little bit of heat because I went there for that heavy. But it's fine. Rift. We're good. And if I go red bar again, I'll get my rift straight back. So now I'm waiting for these ads. If I need to, I'll pop my super and just finish the, the ads from the super. Use a bit of xenophage. And there we go. Clear up any of the, the kind of ads that are around at the time with the wall main sale. And I now have quite a few heavy. So I can take his next health bar down pretty fast. You, I shouldn't. You, know, you guys all know this. This run will go as fast as you can. As, as you've got heavy ammo. So I'm putting down my... Pop my super there, actually. I actually, if, if you see there, it's going to take down the the little uh, the little generator for his shield as well. So he's froze me. I'm going to put a rift down. When when it, I'm not going to break out of that because he can't hit me. And if you don't break out of it, you don't take any damage. 
So now, again, I'm in my rift. He's froze me. No need to break out of it. And now I'll just go and get this heavy ammo. The last wave, the last phase of this, you'll get a, a, a generator in each corner. And you'll get a couple of these invisibles, a couple of these marauders. It's up to you if you want to take them, I did. And then I'll just take this generator and you'll see how safe I am here. Because I'll reload all my weapons before I go back. Because the boss now will stay on the middle platform. So back up here. I've got my grenade. Make sure you keep your grenade for this part for the damage phase. And just freeze him. And you can see here once he's froze he is going to freeze me. But I'd already killed him. And just wait for it to go away. And you're good. And that's it. This, make sure that you do all your work from up on that kind of platform. Try and regulate heavy ammo use. If you're going for the flawless, once you kill the boss, remember there's going to be a couple of other ads lying about. And that's the run. I hope this helps you guys get your pinnacles. I hope this helps you get your solo flawless. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed the video, a like would be amazing. Again, can't thank you guys enough for all the support I get. Take it easy. And I will see you guys in the next video.